Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode three, and today we're gonna be dipping our toes in classes. This will be a short video as I want to explain the basics and nothing really else inside it. Anyways, if you enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, turn on those notifications so you can get notified for every single video, and comment your feedback and suggestions below. Anyways, let's hop into it. So I have reformatted my code from the previous video. So we have a namespace called state and a nested namespace called blueprints. Blueprints we will use for our state namespace to create objects or create temp or blueprint classes, okay? So let's create our first class, public class. Uh, we're gonna call this state, okay? Now the reason why we're creating this is because we wanna be able to create districts inside our state but in order to do that we have to do that inside of a class so i'm just going to create a, a class uh, for state so what is a class well a class is used for creating objects it is the main foundation for object oriented programming and it's not only used in c sharp it's used in uh, java as well and these can be used for creating static instances or references to methods inside that class, such as like system.math, all the methods inside there. Um, so yeah, static methods can be accessed from classes. Um, we can create objects with them. So such as a state right here. Right now it's not really an object. We're just using, we're just making uh, things happen in here, but we're eventually gonna create a, a district class which we will use to create district objects okay so let's do that so we're going to create a class in our blueprints our blueprints called district okay now what the cool thing is that we can create district objects in here okay so all you gotta do is import this namespace wherever this is and that will be using state.blues.blueprints which is this right here and now we have access to district. If we get rid of this line, you will not be able to create it. So let's give it a variable name. We're just going to call it a uh, district, district one. Okay. Now it doesn't have anything right now. It's just, uh, yeah, let's make this public right now. It's just an empty object and there's absolutely nothing in here. So it's pretty useless, but in the future video, in the next video, I'm going to get into constructors. Anyways, if you enjoyed this short video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on this notification. Suggest this video to other friends who are interested in wanting to learn how to code in C Sharp. Uh, if you want to support me, check out my Patreon link in the description and comment anything you want. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.